Well, hey everyone. I wanted to tell you the story behind this particular photograph, which I called infinitesimal. Infinitesimal is a play on words, uh, which the meaning of infinitesimal just means really small. And what I love about making photographs of the night sky is that it really can make you feel tiny and insignificant as a human being, which might sound kind of strange, but I actually really love the fact that the night sky really kind of puts us in our place as humanity and as people. It instills a sense of humility and makes you feel more humble as a person. And I just love that about night photography. Uh, for this particular photograph, I backpacked uh, with my wife uh, to some high mountain lakes here close to my home in Durango, Colorado. Uh, I think it was about a nine mile backpack up to this particular lake. And um, in the middle of the, well actually in the afternoon, we hiked up to these uh, mountains nearby. And I used the photo app called PhotoPills to do some virtual uh, reality uh, showcase to so show me just kind of what was happening with the night sky in the future. I actually had no plans to make this image, uh, but what I noticed on my photo app was that the Milky Way at a particular time of night, which I think was like 1.15 a.m., was going to be directly over two of my absolute favorite mountains in Colorado, the one on the left, which is Vestal Peak, and the one on the right, which is Arrow Peak. And I actually have a tattoo of uh, Vestal Peak on my right arm, which is my first tattoo. It's an absolutely incredible mountain climb. Uh, you climb up this ridge called Wham Ridge, but I digress. Um, so what I did is I set my alarm for like 12.30 in the morning and I climbed up to this, um, this mountain peak in the cold, in the dark, and uh, set up my tripod and uh, waited for the Milky Way to get right into the exact spot that I wanted to, directly over my two favorite mountains. And I made two exposures, uh, one for the, for the Milky Way using a 55 millimeter lens, and one for my foreground using the exact same lens in the exact same position, um, uh, just for a longer exposure time at a lower ISO so that I could bring out more details and have a little bit less noise in my foreground. I later combined those two exposures in Photoshop, uh, but this is not a composite in the um, kind of fake composite sense. This is an actual photograph that you can make if you plan it out correctly. Um, and it's an actual scene that you can actually witness. I just love the way that the two mountains and the Milky Way kind of play off of each other. And uh, for me, this is one of my most memorable photographs uh, that I've made in my career. I hope you enjoy the story.